we start with the puzzle. Is it possible that a machine could be made which converts all of its input energy to useful energy so as it runs forever without a source of power? The solution will be given near the end of the video. Welcome to this nothing nerdy video on efficiency. Here is a statement from the IB Physics Guide. Efficiency is a quantity which is applied to the physics of energy. You must be able to understand it and use it in calculations. Here is a typical multiple choice question on this topic. You should be able to answer it by the end of the video. This is the definition of efficiency. The quantity you calculate can be stated as a fraction, such as 3 quarters, 0 0.75 or a 75%. In each case, the meaning is that one quarter of the input energy is lost as wasted energy such as heat. Here is the formula you will use to calculate efficiency. The quantities and the ratios can either be work or power. In any case, as a ratio, the result is a fraction, decimal number or a percentage without a unit. Here is a simple question about efficiency. The efficiency is 30% and the wasted power is 2.8 kilowatts we must calculate the useful power. Questions like this are most easily solved using ratios. In this case, it is clear that if the useful power represents 30% of the total power, then the wasted power is 70%. So they can be equated as ratios where the wasted divided by the useful proportion is equivalent to the ratio of their actual values. The useful power is therefore 1.2 kilowatts. We did not have to convert the units so long as they were the same at the top and the bottom of the fraction. It would also be easy to calculate that the total power input is 4.0 kilowatts. The formula for efficiency is the useful energy divided by the total energy. We know that's 25%, which means that 75% of the energy is lost. And we're told that that is also equivalent to 600 joules. And so we can write the ratio of 600 over the total. And if we rearrange that, we find that the total is 800 joules. The answer to this question is probably not. We cannot achieve 100% efficiency. Firstly, a machine which provided all of its own energy to move would not be able to do any external work, according to the principle of conservation of energy. Every last quantum of energy would be used to maintain the motion. So its purpose would have to be just to keep itself going. Secondly, any physical change which has ever been observed involves the wasteful generation, however tiny, of heat by friction in moving parts or fluid resistance from particles or flowing electricity in a conductor. A system such as the Earth's weather, which seems to go on forever, is in fact powered from outside by the sun. So according to physics, as we presently understand it, Perpetual motion machines are not possible. Mm -hmm.